Hey guys, and welcome to another Gravy's Brew Review with me, Gareth Gaz Gravy. Now this one is my first homebrew video. And for this one, as you saw from the title at the beginning, as you can see from the title below, I'm going to be making a Cooper's Australian Stout. Now, unfortunately, uh, unlike my uh, beer reviews, I can't uh, show you a label because uh, I had to take the label off of the tin of malt extract, which you'll see very shortly. Um, I'll always I'll try and find a picture uh, to use as a thumbnail, so you'll know uh, exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so <coughs> for this video. I'm going to try uh, and show you just how easy it is to do a homebrew by what they call a kit and kilo method. Basically, and in fact I can actually show you, basically kit and kilo means a tin of the uh, malt extract for the beer kilo of uh, brewing sugar as well as a little pack of brewer's yeast just let you have a quick look at that there we go so once again um, this video is going to be for the newbies that don't really know exactly what they're doing when it comes to stuff like this like I said I'll try my best to show you exactly what I'm doing um, this is just going to be a one-off experiment just to uh, start things off um, so uh, just give me a quick moment guys just to change a few things around here in here a little bit and uh, I'll be right back alright guys and we're back uh, now with a bit of luck you should be looking at the tin of malt extract just on the little table that I've brought into the kitchen here. Um, obviously, what you're going to need to do here is open this uh, tin of malt extract. Got myself a uh, obviously a tin opener, manual tin opener. I did try my uh, electric tin opener. The uh, the opener uh, didn't really work well in trying to open one of these. So, if you're going to give this a go guys, get yourself a uh, manual set of, or a manual tin opener, excuse me. Uh, make sure it's sterilised, make sure everything's sterilised. I was actually going to do a uh, sterile, uh, video on sterilising, excuse me. Uh, which I probably will do. Uh, sometime down the line and what I've done anyway getting getting away from it what I've done guys is I have uh, had this tin of malt extract in my uh, just in a tin, in a pan just off camera here which just let it uh, let the liquid um, get a bit runny as you can see it is a rather thick substance is this uh, liquid and what I'm going to do hopefully with a bit of luck uh, I will start by putting all this syrup into the fermenter. Uh, so once again, I'm just going to have to just go away just for a little second again while I just pick my fermenter up again. Um, once again, I'll be right back with you. Alright, guys, we're back. Now, the view you're looking at now is inside the fermenter, 
not a uh, entirely deep look, although you'll be able to get to see exactly what I'm doing. Now you can probably hear that I've got my kettle running. You'll see exactly why I'm going to use that in, in a uh, moment. Uh, but first, let's uh, take the tin of malt extract. In fact, no. I'll put the uh, brewing sugar in first. bag of brewing sugar first. And I'm just going to dump this whole bag of sugar into the fermenter. The whole lot, because this does make a uh, 40 pint uh, load of beer. Now I'm going to take the malt extract, pour it into the fermenter along with the sugar. A spoon over here. If you are going to use these brewing kits guys, make sure that you get every bit of the uh, syrup out of the tin. Very likely don't need me to tell you that. This stuff is very thick, it's very concentrated. <laughs> smells nice, I will admit that. It's a very nice smell to it. And this is the reason for the kettle, which hopefully will finish boiling in just a second. In fact, I'm actually going to shorten that. Now, I don't know how well you, you'll be able to see me do this, guys. But the reason for the kettle, once again, is because you need to get every bit of this um, syrup out of the tin. So I shall just pour that into there. And once again take my spoon. I was about that for lovely. <laughs> Take a towel. <laughs> Just give the water in the tin a stir. Make sure that you get every bit of this uh, syrup to your fermenter, as I said, uh, you want to make sure that everything is done good and proper. And because you've boiled water, take a towel, get a hold of the sides, Nice and clean, easy peasy. Just put that there. And hopefully, I can give this a good mix around. You know, I've always wanted to say that on a YouTube video. <laughs> might need to add a little bit more water into here. I'm going to have to stir this just for a couple of minutes just to make sure that everything is done nice and proper. Ooh, this smells 
absolutely amazing. Might not look much right now, guys, but believe me when I tell you, this hopefully will make an absolutely fantastic beer. Well, I'm hoping it will. <laughs> I've actually got a bit more water over here from the pan that I used to uh, heat the tin of malt extract. So I'm actually going to throw that in there as well. And save me having to boil the kettle. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so that's that bit done. Just take my temperature here. Uh, temperature on the side, you can't really see this. It's showing up around about 26 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, which is 79 Fahrenheit, I think that might just be a little bit too high, so I'm just going to stir it all for a couple more minutes. See if I can't get it down just by stirring. And then I'm actually also going to move the fermenter here to where I'm actually going to let the beer ferment. So, once again, just give me just a couple more minutes guys and I'll be right back once again alright guys we're back once again as you can see I've moved my fermenter now just onto a little work bench just here in the kitchen where I'm going to let this ferment uh, when the whole process is done so on the subject of the next process the next process is to fill the fermenter with cold water up to around about the 23 litre mark. Um, I know you can't really see it all that well. What I'll likely do once I've uh, done these next two parts, I'll show you exactly uh, where. Um, Whereabouts the water will be filled up to. Anyway, for this next bit, uh, this is where a home brewer would have to get a little bit ingenious. If you don't have anything bigger than, say, a two or three litre bucket or a uh, little hose that can um, attach to, say, kitchen tap. I'm kind of glad that I've got the little bucket from my uh, sink here in which I can fill this up to 23 litres. Now, before anybody gets concerned, um, this has been sanitised, um, doubly so. It has had both sanit sanitizer and boiling water in it, so it should be very well sanitized. Uh, I was actually planning on doing a uh, sanitizer, uh, a video on sanitizing the equipment. I will probably do that another time. Um, but anyway, let's get down to this next bit. As I said, all you have to do is fill your fermenter up to 23 litres. Also be wise to make sure that you get a good mix of both hot and cold water. In this mix, to get it to the right temperatures, it's advised that anywhere between 
21 and 27 degrees is a uh, good temperature to brew at. Right now, my stick on thermometer is showing around about 25 degrees, 24, 25. I did actually also, before I carry on, purchase a um, actual proper thermometer to dip into the water, into the beer. Um, so I'll, I'll compare readings when I've filled this up to 23 litres. Uh, as it stands right now, we're at about, minus the head, we're at around about maybe 13, 14 litres. So I might cut this part of the video short. So we'll just have to wait and see. Before I forget, I will once again just give this a nice little mix around so that we can get even temperatures my spoon onto the drop the fermenter there Close one more pail worth of water to do it. I wish this camera of mine had smell of it, guys. This this beer is smelling absolutely wonderful. I'll get that exact in just a few moments. But anyway, one more time, just give this a good little mix around. The thermometer on my uh, fermenter here is showing about 15 16 degrees Celsius. About 51 Fahrenheit. My actual thermometer let's quickly drop down to where it was before. I'll just give this just a couple of seconds just to see. Exactly where we're at. I think we're actually at the 23 litre mark, so we'll be ready for the next step shortly. The uh, 
temperature on my handheld thermometer here showing around about 14-15 degrees Celsius which might just be a tad too low might be alright, I don't know because what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get this last bit done Once again, just to give you a quick view of this, just a little showing of that. Once it, there we go. You can get different, other different types of yeast, but this is just what comes with the kits. And I will just spread that fairly evenly, or as evenly as possible. Over the top. just the um, very simple process, somewhat simple, process of uh, making beers from kits. Uh, I've just got one more step that I'm going to use. I'm going to try and use it off camera, see if I can't get it uh, working well. I'll show you what I've got actually. I'm going to be adding this brew belt uh, around the fermenter. As I say, I'm probably going to do that off camera, try and raise the temperature of this just a little bit and uh, see where we go from there. And then hopefully in a few days we can uh, get on to the next stages of the process. Hey guys, well, I'm sorry that this video was just a tad bit long uh, but again this is a somewhat long process and um, as I said also as well I'll probably cut down a few things try and shorten the video but not take out too much of the uh, the real detail that you need so on that guys um, let me know what you think um, you think this is something that you guys could get into? Uh, you think it's something that uh, you'd enjoy? Uh, let me know down there in the uh, comments. Uh, what I'll also do guys, and I've done this a couple of times before, is I will, um, for those of you that are just starting to watch my videos and wondering exactly the type of kit that I'm using, uh, you may have missed my first video, I'll drop a link to where I purchased this kit um, from eBay and hopefully you will uh, take what you see from this video and enjoy what, uh, what I've done by this kit and enjoy it for yourself. Oh, that's about that, I ain't got a beer. <laughs> anyway. That's all for now from Gravy's Brew Review, home brewing for uh, dummies, home brewing for beginners. So until next time, this is Gareth Goes Gravy for Gravy's Brew Reviews. I'll see you later, and happy brewing.